Hey kiddos, it's Starz Deja here, and if you've noticed a difference in my mic quality, actually I got a new headset with my phone, my new phone, and basically that means I have a better, it actually has a really good mic on it, even though it came free with my phone, which is also a really good phone, so I got a great deal there, and um, yeah, so look forward to having some better quality videos. And today I'm going to be showing you some tips and tricks with PicMonkey. So yeah, let's get right into the video. So obviously the first thing you're going to want to do is go to PicMonkey.com and I'll leave a link to that in the description below. So you know, this is the editor I use to make my thumbnails, except I don't make the text with this editor. But you know, it's, it's pretty much my favorite <laughs> one. But no, I'm going to be making a channel banner for someone uh, on Instagram, so yeah. And this is the person I'm going to be making the banner for, and shout out to her, she's actually a really nice person, and she doesn't actually have very many subscribers, so you should go and subscribe to her, and I'll leave a link down in the description to her channel if you want to go check it out. She also makes some pretty cute art on Instagram, so, you know, you should go check out her Instagram as well, and I'll leave that down in the description below as well. But back to making the banner, uh, so the first thing I'm going to do is go to my computer and get a banner template, and I'll just be back to you once I've done that with the first tip I have. So my first tip is if you're making, like, an edit for Instagram or something, then you're going to want to have a pretty snazzy background for that edit so what i well actually what my friend does and that's that's what they taught me and her name is pacing and she's on my feature channels list so you should really go and check her out she's actually pretty awesome and yeah so what i what she does is she goes to she puts on a selfie um and then merges the layers and then goes into the enhance no in effects um bar and then soften and you can actually blur it and not many people actually oh okay okay then okay then pick monkey okay then so providing your computer doesn't break and uh pick monkey doesn't work well i, I mean pick monkey actually works then uh, you want to turn the softness up to 100% and the fade down to zero and apply and then apply until the blurriness is snazzy enough for you and that's about right so yeah that's what I would normally do do it two or three times so the next tip is for a good quality thumbnail or banner uh, so you go into textures and if you want to make like a, a burst one which is actually which is like what a load of people do then you're going to want to I mean unless you want to be original because no one's original <laughs> no um but anyways you want to go into add your own and then find well you need to find a burst thing on uh, Google and then move it in as a texture so you want to want to take that in and as a texture and then push the saturation all the way down to zero providing your computer works with pick monkey because <sighs> mine really is not that great and then you want to fade it up to the right level at uh, which like i like that so i'm gonna apply that Another thing if you want to make something look cool is um, to add in this light trails and then lower the saturation because that doesn't work on my computer. <laughs> Don't you just love it when PicMonkey breaks? But yeah, if you lower the saturation right down to zero, this uh, light trails texture is actually looks really cool and if you fade it a bit it looks even better. So, yeah. Another tip for pick monkey is basically not really a pick monkey tip, but it kind of is. So, never ever ever make your text in the pick monkey editor. If you make your text in the pick monkey editor, it looks really unprofessional and it's just like 
it looks like you're a noob. And like, no offense if you actually do this, but like, it kind of looks like you're a noob at thumbnail making. So I would use something like Pixlab or something like that. I use PowerPoint personally. Uh, I just find that easier and what I do is I go into this and I form out the backgrounds to a different color like a greenish that looks that looks really gross but uh, and then I put in the text I use the font snake in the boot which is I it can be downloaded and I'll leave the link down in the description if you want to get snake in the boot and just just a heads up, if you're going to get Snake in the Boot, if you're going to download it, then uh, you, you can only use capitals. So, you know, don't be, like, worried if it's not work for lowercase because it's not supposed to work. So, yeah, if you want to get Snake in the Boot, I'll leave the link to that in the screen. So if you're using PowerPoint, then you're going to want to make the text fill something you want. You're going to make it pretty big because then it's easier to edit and you're going to want to add a white text outline make it a bit heavier as they would probably call it and i would use multiple colors if you're doing this so the way that you select multiple different letters at the same time is you hold control and then you select them so you can just like do that I don't know if anyone actually knew that, but that's that's actually a thing, yeah. And if the gradient doesn't look like look right, I, I always had add a gradient, so I go into here and click gradient and that kind of thing. And if the gradient doesn't look right, just mess with the more gradients option, because that looks like it, you can make it look really cool. And you know, I'll just leave that for you guys to work it out yourself. If you're saving a picture from PowerPoint and wanting to import it into PicMonkey, you always add that up there so the top of the text doesn't get cut off. And then you want to save it as picture by right clicking in that. And when you've saved it as a picture, you add it in as an actual overlay, not text, because obviously you've saved it as a picture. And then you want to bring it in like that. And you want to erase this uh, apostrophe <laughs> which you have there. Because obviously you don't want that there. That's just to make sure that your text doesn't get cut off. Another tip is if you're using sparkle stars, then don't make them fade 0%. Because then they just go over everything else and like makes it all blocked out. And <laughs> Julian too actually uses this. Um, and he actually does fade them. I don't know if you knew that, but Julian who actually uses PicMonkey for his thumbnails. Surprise, surprise. And, well, most of it anyway. And um, if you fade them down, then it looks a lot better, so, yeah. And this is the finished product of the banner, if you wanted to see it, so yeah. But anyways, guys, I'm going to have to wrap up that video right there. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like comment and subscribe and you know smash that like button especially if you want to see a what not to do when using pick monkey video and yeah guys goodbye and a side note if you were confused as to why i haven't been uploading recently then that's because my mic input broke on my computer so i actually couldn't upload which was pretty frustrating because my computer mic is just I'm not even going to go into how bad my computer mic is. And <laughs> so I just like spent half the afternoon trying to fix it with my mum. And finally, out of nowhere, it just decided to start working. So that's great. And I will finally be able to upload again for you guys. And yeah, goodbye. Thank you for watching if you watched this far. And be sure to comment Star as a lame kid or... Um, if you want more videos like this one. And yeah, bye.